بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد وقم باك Today we focus on the three letters of الهاء والداء والحرف المعتل and as we learn from Corpus Quran this occurs 316 times in all of its different derivatives and so adding that to the previous we come to 9,372 words that we should be able to identify in the Qur'an Ibn Fadis tells us that with regards to these three root letters he says أَصْلَانِ أَحَدُهُمَا أَتَّقَدُّمُ لِلْإِرْشَادِ وَالْآخَرُ بَعْثَةُ لَطَفٍ so he's telling us that they have two meanings there's two core meanings for these three root letters the first is uh, guidance and the second is a gift, it means a gift. Looking into the Qur'an, we find that 144 times Allah Rabbul Alameen uses it in the form of hada, the past tense of he guided, he guided. And then 85 times in the form of hudan, the noun meaning guidance itself. And then uh, 40 times in the form of ihtada, ihtada, and this is the one who is receiving the guidance and therefore they become guided. The person who receives the guidance, so he received the guidance or he became guided. Um, other than that, you can see there's many other different forms and formats. Um, and we can see for the sixth bullet, hadiyatun, that means a gift. The second meaning of what he had mentioned. And 17 times, muhtadun, muhtadun, that's the plural form of those who are guided. Those who are guided, those who have been guided, and those who re are guided and remain guided. And we ask Allah Rabbul Alameen as a whole that He bless us to not only ourselves receive guidance and be guided, but that we remain guided, and that Allah Rabbul Alameen blesses us and our progeny until the Day of Judgment to be sources role models of guidance for humanity. Allahumma ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad.